the carbonara udon that we made last week. Yes. It was very good. Um, so today we thought we'd take you guys through it and we'll be cooking in the kitchen with you guys. So it's Let's Get Messy Cooking Edition. Woo! Yay! <laughs> okay, so um, first things first, uh, just to go over a bit of our ingredients, um, we have frozen udon. Um, you can go with the brand that you like. We have pork belly. Um, we have mushrooms and green onions. Um, and then for the marinade, for the meat, we have soy sauce, sugar, and then for the creamy um, carbonara part, we have parmesan, uh, salt, pepper, um, because we're gonna make, be making two portions, we're gonna do two eggs, um, and of course, uh, with the udon, we'll also be using two portions. Yay! So, the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have Jesse chop up the meat, and then I'm gonna be making the marinade at the same time. So while he does that, um, the marinade, my dad is a chef, and he's always been working around in the kitchen. So I've grown up with this. He literally puts soy sauce and sugar for everything just to balance out the taste. And he always says, so that it's just for um, when you're actually eating the meat, it's not just the sauce that's on top, there's actually flavor to the meat that you're eating. So let's get started. So we're gonna be using about four slices of the pork belly. Yes. Um, and for the marinade, I'm gonna put three teaspoons of the sugar into a bowl. And then we are going to just pour some soy sauce. Okay, so uh, that mixture is there for Jesse. Um, I'm also going to start by boiling some water for the udon. So another reason why we're doing the um, pork belly first is that we wanted to give it some time to marinate. If you guys have time prior, of course you can do it, you can stick it in the fridge, let it marinate for however long that you want. But for this purpose, um, just doing it at the beginning should suffice to add a little bit more flavor. Um, and just so you guys know, we'll also need pot for the udon, pan to fry everything up, and then also a um, strainer so that we can um, get rid of the water from the udon. So yeah, I just cut up the, the pork belly like in cubes like this. And then we're just gonna put it in the marinade that Mallory just made. We could just mix it up here. Make sure the marinade just really gets like onto the meat here. So Jesse's also going to start chopping up the mushrooms and the green onion. The green onion we're just going to use for garnish later, so we're not going to be cooking that. But the mushrooms we will add in after. And simultaneously, I'm going to be making, starting on the um, carbonara sauce. So for the parmesan, you can use pretty much any type that you want. Uh, I've used the powder version before. This one's the little petals. Um, so we are going to use about, for the two of us, half a cup. Um, last time I already measured it out, so I know uh, what I have is about half a cup. Um, but yeah, for you guys, if you want to measure it up, that's also totally fine. Because these are petals, I'm going to break them up a bit with my hands. Get them in the bowl. So parmesan's in there, and then what I'm also going to do is crack the two eggs in there. But really the parmesan cheese will be giving a lot of flavor as well. So you don't need to go overboard with it. Uh, feel free to, all, uh, of course, add, a, add as you go. It doesn't have to be done all at once. Okay, and then you're gonna take that and then you're just gonna sift it all together. So 
again, it's usually, it was easier last time when it was the powder parmesan, but even with the petals, I'm just breaking it up with the egg right now. Once your water starts boiling, you can throw in your udon. Two packs for us. And then at the same time, you can heat up your pan to medium heat. Thank you. And then we're just gonna let that cook. Once the pan is heated up, you can add some vegetable oil. And then we're going to add our meat first. We're just going to cook it up until we hear the sizzle before adding on our mushrooms. Okay, so once your udon is done, you can turn the heat off and then we are going to um, put, it with the, uh, put it in the strainer so we get rid of the water. Once your meat starts to cook and it looks a little bit more brown on both sides, we can also add in the mushrooms and cook them together. After your meat and your mushroom is browned, then you can add the udon. And we'll fry it all together for about one to two minutes. Making sure the udon gets warm. Okay, once everything is all together, we're gonna turn off the heat because we don't want our sauce to become scrambled eggs. We're gonna move it off the heat altogether and we're gonna add the sauce. And then with our tongs, we're gonna mix everything up, make sure that cheese melts. should all come together really nicely. The cheese is gonna melt, the egg's gonna coat, coat the noodles. Um, because everything's hot, the egg also gets cooked. Make sure everything's coated evenly. Okay, so once everything is all together, Jesse's gonna plate it for us. Everything should look nice and gooey. It smells great. That's from the marinade of the meat. It smells a little bit sweet, salty. Oh, oh. <laughs> Jesse's a much better flavor than I am. Like as it is, but when you marinate the meat, it just gives that extra flavor with the carbonara. 
and it mixes really well with like the cheese and stuff too. So mm -hmm. it was really good. Because like when you when you dump the bowl of meat in like into the pan, yeah. like some of that soy sauce and like the sugar and everything also goes in. So like right. you're cooking everything all together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really simple. Um, it took us I don't know 15 minutes. It's like everything's all prepped. Um, yeah, and it's great comfort food. You can have it with beer. You can have it with I don't know what else. You can have it with anything. Yeah, you can have it with anything. This is like good for quick lunch or even even for a really nice dinner too so I really recommend you guys making this and yeah the recipe we're gonna write it in the, the information link below mm -hmm. and then um, yeah you guys could follow the video and then, yeah. come snack with us yeah okay see you later thank you bye bye